Hello and welcome. Today we're going to continue our journey toning through the vowel sounds and today's sound is oo as in goose. So just a few quick reminders. Imagine the column of sound either behind you or, or inside you where the sound already is. So you're going to be bringing that sound through. So you don't need to force a sound to, to come from here. If you feel tension building here, then stop. Fall back into the listening and start again. So make sure you're sitting comfortably, that the spine is supported by the core muscles. So you drive the sound from the core muscles. Try and release any tension in the brow and in the jaw and in the shoulders, try and kind of relax the body around the erect spine. When you're making the sound, try and keep going to the very end of your breath. You may be surprised to find that when you're making a sound, you can find a little bit more breath. When you get to the very end of the breath, if you can, sit just momentarily in the space at the very end of the out breath before allowing the in breath to come. Um, I think that's enough reminders. Yeah, so the, the reason this is called intoning, you, know, you, you often see it written as toning or intoning vowel sounds, is because we're trying to send some of the sound into us, into our resonant chambers to create a vibration because that's what vibrates the cells and helps to bring about healing and change. So a way to help that process is that to imagine that you're sucking in the sound. Imagine you're inhaling the sound. Obviously it's going to be coming out of you. But if you imagine that you're bringing the sound into you, that can be very helpful um, for taking the sound into the resonant chambers and creating a better vibration. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the sound. It goes like this. So to help you get more from the session, if you adjust the volume so that you can hear both my sound and your sound at the same time, and then if you actively listen to both, it's impossible for you to think at the same time. If you're actively listening to both my sound and your sound, it's impossible to think at the same time. So you're creating one of those nice pauses in, in your thinking. Um, so yeah, try and focus on the listening, um, but without judgment, you know, it's nothing to do with making a nice sound or the right sound, we're just looking for your sound. So just allow a sound to come without any judgment. Yeah, your body actually knows how to do this if you allow it. Okay, so we're going to make nine of the sounds, but in three lots of three. So we'll make the sound three times and then fall into the silence. Try and stay internalised in the silence that comes afterwards. And a helpful thing to, to um, help with that is to imagine that you're making the sound again in your head silently. That can just help to keep you internalised. And then we'll make three more oohs and then we'll go back into the silence and then we'll make the final three oohs. At the end of the silence, um, after we finish making all nine oohs, I'll, I'll sound the cymbals so that you know that the toning session is over. Okay, so we'll start with our first three oohs.
now three more oohs. Now the final three ooze. So there we are, toning through the vowel sound OO. Um, so we only have one more vowel sound to make, which is E, which I will make in the next video. Um, if you practice making these sounds, um, it can be helpful to close your eyes to, to, to obviously stay more internalised. 
Um, I hope you managed to find a, a sense of calm in making these sounds with me this morning and that you can take something of that sense of calm with you through your day or through your evening if you're doing this later in the day. But thank you very much for being with me. Um, I will be back very soon. Bye bye for now.